Hey YouTube, Captain Tech here. And in today's video, I'll go ahead and walk you through how to add password protection in Squarespace. So really quickly, there's two ways of adding password protection in Squarespace. The first one is for the entire site so that whenever you enter you know, your URL, you go to that site, it'll first prompt you for a password. Um, of course, once you enter that password from there, you'll have access to, to all the content on the website. That's the first method. The second method is you can actually password protect individual web pages. So I'll actually walk you through both those methods. They're very quick and easy. Um, we'll start with the global website password protection. Uh, we could do that by going into settings here on the left hand side. From there, we can go ahead and click on site availability. And by default, usually your, your website's set to public. Um, if you want to password protect your entire website, of course, you would choose this password protected option and then enter a password so that as soon as you go to the URL, it'll require a password. So that's the first method. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to actually block particular pages. Now to do that, we'll go back to you know this, this main area, then we'll go to the pages section. From there, we'll go ahead and make a call on, you know, of course, you know, which, which section, which page we want to block access to. Um, once we've done that, we can click on the gear icon right next to it. And then we'll see this pop up here. And then once we're, you know, of course, by default on the, the general section, if we go down a bit here, we'll see there's this actual option for, for a password. So here we can actually, you know, enter something in and let's go ahead and save that. And now if we were to go to the section, you'll see as soon as we click on it, it's going to ask us for our password. And of course, you know, as soon as we enter it, we'll have access to 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 that section of the page. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave me a like and thanks for watching.